So, it's a little hard for me to make this video. Because I know that some people may unsubscribe, and I know that some people may go, Yippee, ha ha ha, bye you noob, bye you raging flaming kid, or whatever they may say. As you can tell by the title, I, enough is enough. I've had enough now. I've spent the last year, probably the last six months or more, consistently campaigning slash flaming slash trying to get things changed inside the game. But it won't happen. It will not happen. Now, I had hope when the Steam, when they said about releasing on Steam, I had hope. Um, but unfortunately, with the Christmas patch, with the horrible way that they treated us on the, with the Christmas patch, everything being BSC and then finally patching things in, some things to be BP again, making the Auto 9 Christmas as OP as fuck. Who tested this gun? Who tested this gun? Because this gun is not balanced. The person who tested it has no clue about the game. That's that. Also, the item I'm using now, the gun I'm using now, who tested this gun? Look at the thing. It has zero recoil. It's got the same stats as the BP-1 that you released, but the BP-1 has a, a bigger magazine. But this one has zero fucking recoil and is one of the easiest guns I've ever used. Again, GG. Who decided that adding premium armor inside the game, which cost cash only, that would give you both the benefits of rifle protection and sniper protection, and would be, uh, would, wouldn't have the same speed penalty as the sniper protection armor? Who decided that was a good idea? Who decided that putting a helmet in, which give you, the, which give you all three different protections that all of the BP helmets have, all in one package? Because it's a black shot cash fucking helmet. Who decided to put that into the game? When Garena was announced to be closed, I said that I was worried that special characters would become more prevalent and would become more common inside the game. And I was not wrong. When Garena closed down, and when they started implementing patches, we had Isabel, we had UDT, we had SWAT, and they didn't put them inside the game for premium currency. They didn't put them inside the game inside some form of reasonably, um, reasonably full package. No, 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 no. They released them inside gold boxes. They give you that little finite chance to get them. And then the way that they make up for it, if you open 10 boxes and spend over 3,000 BSC, we're guaranteed to give you at least one character or whatever the stupid promotion was. Yes, if I spend 30 euros, I expect to get at least a 10 fucking day character, or a 15 fucking day character. For 15 fucking, for 30 euros, sorry. Yes, I fucking expect to get it. But you get some people like me who open 10, 20 boxes, who open about 20, 30 euros worth of boxes, and don't get the UDT or the SWAT once, and then you open, so you get some people who are like, I did 3 or 4 and got it for 30 days. Or you get some idiots who tell me that they cashed in over a hundred euros and they're happy that they got swapped for 30 days. A hundred fucking euros. So I'm honestly done. When my items run out that I have now, which is going to be under 30 days, I'm done with Blackshot. I will give you update videos on the game, I will give you any information that I can to help you out, but I will not be playing seriously, I will be online less, I will be posting videos on Blackshot less, but do not worry about the videos, because what I will be doing is I will be going to Counter-Strike, and I will be trying to learn how to play Counter-Strike to a reasonable level. I struggle in Counter-Strike, and I will, in the videos, I will tell you slash show you why I struggle. But I do struggle quite a lot in Counter-Strike. I will be trying to learn how to play, though. Because at least in that game, I can't pay to have some fucking OP weapon. At least in that game, they go, oh, you've given me 10, 15 euros? Thank you. Have a nice day. If you do want some skins, by the way, we do offer some boxes for skins. If you do want some skins, you can open them. But don't worry, those skins are not going to make you OP as fuck. We're not going to release a BSC weapon and a BP weapon that are for all intents and purposes the same, but that have and, and have the same stats, apart from magazine, by the way, these two weapons. But 
the BSC one has no fucking recoil, and the BP one, of course, has recoil, and of course has spread, and, and the same things. So get ready for me to do Counter-Strike videos. I really hope that people don't unsubscribe. And I actually hope that people do subscribe just to see what it's like for a, a guy who's played Black Shop for so long to go into Counter-Strike and try and play Counter-Strike. I hope that I can do okay. I really do appreciate your support. And it is a hard decision because I know some of you are going to be sad that I'm going. But I know some of you are probably going to be happy because you're the fucking rain noobs who run around going, I am a pro because I'm using OP rain. By the way, in this video, look how many times I try and shoot rain in the body. Look how many times I hit. Not a bugged character, by the way, guys. Get ready for more characters and more OP things to come into the game. Blackshot will never change. They can keep making small little differences, but they will honestly never change. So I'm really sorry, guys, but I just cannot support a company like this anymore. I have poured so much of my time, so much of my money into this game and they treat the community, they treat the player base like a pile of shit and by the way, laggers all day